Hi, Claude. It's Dr. Sands here. I want to welcome you to Business 580 Strategic Marketing and E-Commerce here at Los Angeles Pacific University. I'm super excited about the eight-week journey that we're about to embark on. This is a uh, super exciting and uh, great class. So let's uh, let's jump in and take a look. Uh, first and foremost, I want to start off with the uh, announcement section here. If, you know, if this is your first class, uh, then definitely uh, pay close attention. And if you've had a number of classes, please um, check this out as well. I do post uh, announcements uh, every week. And so it's important for you to check uh, your announcement section, you know, uh, uh, weekly. So to start off the class, um, welcome to uh, class Business 580 Marketing and E-Commerce. And in here <clears throat> for this announcement, uh, I'd go through and just, you know, what some of the learning objectives are in the class, learning outcomes, what we're going to be looking at. I also uh, a link to uh, my brief bio, that uh, link. Um, and then, you know, have uh, have some of it down here below here, the, my book that I published, uh, my industry experience, education, and uh, in uh, academia as well. So that's just a little bit about myself. And then uh, go back to the announcements. Uh, I will post uh, weekly, like I said, um, on Mondays, like, you know, welcome to week one, welcome to week two. And um, as you can see, uh, what I do is uh, it's, a, it's a kind of a look ahead for the week, which you can, I mean, you will get all this throughout the class, but this is a quick snapshot on a week to week on what that's going to look like. All right. Uh, let's see here. Briefly introduce yourself in the, in the class community uh, area. So it's, uh, you know, it's, it's good to, uh, know a little bit of something about uh, your peers. I love to learn, you know, about uh, my students in class, you know, especially since this is um, virtual, um, we won't be meeting in an actual brick and mortar classroom. I do like to learn about my students. So if you could, um, you know, then the first three days of class, uh, post this, some stuff about yourself and then respond to some of your peers would be great. And uh, I think the more we can interact, um, it, it, it feels less like you're kind of on an island, you know. Um, references and in-text citations. So every time you use a reference, you need to use that as an in-text citation, the body of what you're writing. And that goes for the discussion post as well. So if, you're, if it's an academic assignment, if you have references, you need to use it at least once in the written body of your assignment and when you post uh, in the discussions, your initial post, if you, you need the support of the reference, you gotta use an in-text citation. And then if you're responding, when you're responding to your peers uh, and have a reference, obviously you still need to use in-text as well. All right, now let's see here. Um, APA formatting, um, I'm pretty, uh, pretty focused on that. Um, it is important that you do learn APA quite well, uh, for one, for your academic journey, because uh, class to class, course to course, APA is a, a standard foundationally between all your courses. And also learning uh, good APA formatting will also help you in the, in the business world as well in uh, writing papers and things, writing reports. Um, I've taught, uh, I actually used to teach APA formatting at a different university, and uh, it's a good book, you know, it's got everything you need. Uh, quite honestly, you know, at this, the kind of the length of papers that you'll be writing in this course, and probably most of your courses that you take, um, you don't need all of that. Um, it's just a few key topics that you really need to master um when you're for your academic journey so i i have uh created this video and it hits on those key topics so if you master those that you can take with every class uh you take at any university all right so uh that's the announcements i have uh posted uh to get started like I said, check on, you know, Mondays because I will post uh, weekly, you know, look ahead 
uh, things of that nature. So when we take a look at the course, uh, course your uh, syllabus. Now on your syllabus, uh, please make sure to look at your syllabus um, in conjunction with every assignment because uh, you know, you'll have your assignment instructions and you want to look at what the syllabus says too. And the reason being your assignment, sometimes um, there's potentially some additional information in your grading rubric that you may not have uh, specifically laid out in your assignment, assignment instructions. So, um, you know, when you uh, craft your assignment and submit it, you know, this right here is a snapshot ahead on how I'm going to grade it. I'm going to look at performance indicators, ethical behaviors, for example, on this uh, Chipotle Mexican Grill, decisions based on market information, ethics considerations. So, for example, on that assignment, and it holds true for every assignment, you know, what's the criteria? Like I said, performance indicators, ethical behavior, strategic actions, uh, in, uh, integrated communication, uh, those that's your uh, content, and then, you know, written communication um, and ensuring that it's turned in on time. So these are the points associated with uh, each of that uh, grading criteria. Um, so, you know, take a look at, um, take a look at, um, the assignment instructions and then um you know the grading rubric because that'll bring everything uh, together for you and tee you up as best possible when uh submitting for a good grade also look at uh you know the assignment rubric for your discussions you know look at each each one you have your initial um you know your initial posts and your peer responses and this will uh, tie everything together all right so then ask a professor um, you know, the best way to contact me is actually, and I'll post an announcement as well, but the best way to contact me is just uh, send me an email. Um, I have my uh, LAPU email address up and accessible all day, and I also have it on my phone. Um, so if you post to uh, Ask Professor, I do check this here, but uh, I, I physically have to click on it and I'd have to do it all day, every day. Uh, versus just getting a quick a quick email from you, um, and then I get it right away. Same goes with posting, you know, uh, a comment up here in this, uh, you know, a comment box, uh, a message box. You know, I I will ultimately see it, but uh, sometimes a day or so can go by before I you know remember to check that. So um, best way to get in touch with me is just send me an email, and uh, I will respond to that uh, promptly. Of course, your community where you want to post, you know, something about yourself, study room if you need it, uh, got some live tutoring and online counseling and all there at the click of a button for you. And uh, let's take a look at the assignments. I'll tell you what, let's, let's go into week one first. Um, and as you see for the first week, on the discussions, just want to take a look at the first week because really, you know, week to week, they're all very similar. So they'll have uh, review information and what you're supposed to, how you're supposed to respond to it. So re review the content and this is what you're supposed to respond to uh, along with um, discuss, uh, post at least, post at least two um, substantial responses to your colleagues. So basically, to two, at least two of your peers to um, respond to. And the requirements, initial post 300, peer responses 150, uh, APA formatting, citation requirement, member, minimum of one to two scholarly peer reviewed, um, source uh, properly cited and referenced. So, and it even says here, see grade rubric. And so you wanna check that, you wanna, you don't wanna assume that every, um, discussions um, requ uh, requirements are the same so make sure that you do uh, take a good walk through here before you post your first uh, discussion all right so let's go back and go to uh, assignments here and so for your class you do have a number of assignments strategic marketing part one part two part three 
that. There are the, the Chipotle Mexican Grill uh, decisions and then strategic marketing plan four and five. So, um, and of course, week two, uh, we'll be doing week two. Now, at the time of recording for this, um, the, the, the class started on um, May 6th and the first assignment is due May 20th. So it's like two weeks in. So when I reuse this for another course, outside this initial recording, you know, your first assignment would be like uh, two weeks in. So just make sure you check the due dates and make sure uh, you stay on top of that. Um, there are uh, no uh, late assignments. Um, if if you are, you check the late policy because there are, um, if you do turn your assignment in late, then um, for the first uh, three days, it's 10% per day and then not accepted after uh, three days. So uh, be sure that you turn your your assignments in timely to ensure that you get the, you know, you, you at least consider for the maximum points possible. If you're having some issues, because I know, um, you know, like for myself, um, all my schooling was uh, in the evenings. Um, so I worked full time, had a family and life. Sometimes that gets in the way. So if, if you run into an issue um, and which uh, may impact your ability to submit something on time, reach out to me and, and we can talk about it. But uh, please don't uh, take advantage of that. Uh, so you can usually tell when somebody is. So, all right. Well, you know, that's a quick overview of the class. If you have any, you know, my role here is to uh support you uh even though this is an asynchronous synchronous class i'm here to support you um and um provide you good timely feedback on your assignments and of course any questions you may have along the way so after watching this video if you have any questions please uh, reach out to me and happy to respond all right so uh thank you very much uh, god bless and we're gonna have a, a great eight week course